what's going on Tywin here bringing you another block only playthrough this is playthrough number seven as I mentioned last video playthrough number six got corrupted it was the sky cages or it was supposed to be the sky cages now it's nothing but I will be bringing you that as soon as possible um, just have to get the gameplay footage again and then I'll bring you playthrough number six the boss episode which will be the sky cages otherwise there's really no major boss of fighting uh, besides the guard gap in this episode uh, which as you know or maybe you don't the guard gap is what is on top of the tree you can see the vines wrapping around the castle back there in the arena there's a tree that grows up you can climb it and then you will be able to fight the guard gap and he gives you the file armor if you don't already have it to do he just gives you a random drop probably just money I'm um, gonna apologize for the little distorted screenshot you're gonna see every now and then I forgot to turn off notifications I was getting uh, text messages and I'm sure that people don't want to be splattered all over YouTube um, with their personal text messages to me so that is why I stretch the screen out there just a little bit to hide those texts <clears throat> Hope you don't mind too much. It's really not a big deal. So now we're down below that dam. And we're about to take on a cell siren here. Who I think is one of the harder uh, enemies to take on with a block only because they're pretty fast. These dual building enemies for the most part are really fast so you have to react quickly and kind of anticipate their moves uh, so you don't miss a block and then get hit uh, with a bunch of subsequent blocks. Uh, they attack from every direction and it's sometimes hard to tell what direction they're going to come from like I mean it's hard to anticipate it's easy to tell because you'll see them uh, but they are fast so you want to make sure that you are prepared if you're trying to block their attacks I kind of get lucky in this fight and she uses quite a few middle attacks but that's not always the case. She kicks me a lot in this fight. A lot more than I remember her kicking me last time I went up against her. So she made it pretty easy this time because she was kicking uh, about 95% of her attacks were uh, either a kick or in the middle, which makes it very easy, obviously. I can see all those gems because we don't, I'm not gonna use them. And we'll make room for more down there. Pick up along the way. Heavy gold gem. That's a waste. These gold gems that you get like on stab and slashes get X gold are really a waste of time. The only really good gold gem are the uh, blue diamond, the gold drop, and the uh, gold hexagon ones that get increase the amount of gold. And a couple of those with the gold drop ones, and you'll get decent gold uh, in old game or new game. The on stab, on slash, on panic, get gold, or whatever those are, uh, really don't yield you that much gold uh, overall. So now, I'm taking on another iron wretch. I felt like I fought a lot of monstrosities during this block only run. A lot more than I feel like I normally come across. But it was kind of cool to see uh, how to block the monstrosities. I'm not doing a very good job of this one right now. But I just found it odd that I fought so many of them. So many random ones. I, mean, I had to fight certain monstrosities. That are part of the story but I felt like I ran into a lot of random ones during this 
playthrough. This, not this particular playthrough, but the whole entire uh, block only campaign that I did, I felt like there were a lot of monstrosities. There's a couple more bots to take this guy out. And then we can move on past this guy and make our way towards the arena where we will climb up that tree to fight the guard gap. chest here and then we'll move on our way inside to of the castle. I want to take a little time to thank everyone who's been watching my videos. Um, I started only back like two or three months ago and already you all have gotten me uh, over 20,000 views and over 500 subs in that time so you're helping me grow really fast and I am very appreciative of it. I didn't expect uh, to be growing at this quick of a pace but um, I'm flattered that you all come back and watch my videos uh, week in and week out so thank you everyone for that. And here's a random dark knight. I don't usually come across this enemy except for at the top of the tower but he's just as easy as he was in Infinity Blade 1. Uh, kind of a pushover. He looks scary because he's really tall compared to us, but uh, I don't know. Most every Titan seems taller than us. Uh, so either Cyrus is short, or all these Titans are just giants. I don't really know. But it seems like most every character is quite a bit taller than us. Uh, that's just a random thought there for you. There's Tell finally. If you don't know, Tell is a little robotic psychic that can morph his shape into anything that he touches physically. So. He's looking out for us if we die he'll bring our body back to the rebirth chamber and allow us to be reborn and I don't really know why I heard that just force a habit sometimes so let's try the acolyte again let's try not to carry him this time side of my attack but actually it was coming down straight. That's another thing when you see those random slash arrows sometimes if you don't slash the game kind of freezes your character and doesn't allow you to block the next attack. I've noticed if you um, don't go for those slashes which is problematic in a block only playthrough because I don't want to slash them, but I also want to be able to block. Uh, and sometimes when you don't hit that random slash arrow, you are not able to block. That time I was able to block, I just happened to block the wrong direction, which I'm doing a lot in this playthrough. You would think by the seventh playthrough I would uh, not get hit so much, but. Obviously not the case. 
I keep missing the buttons or something, I don't know. My buttons are smaller again, maybe that's my problem. I wasn't missing as much, I wasn't getting hit as much when I had the bigger block button. Instead of parrying it. Oh well, that's alright. Alright, just a few more hits to get this guy taken care of. Then we can make our way up that tree. There we go. Bonus loss. I lose every XP bonus. I don't even pay attention to them anymore. The only time I pay attention to them, obviously, is in negative rebirth backward game, which I will be bringing here after I finish this series of block only gameplay. I will be bringing you, like I mentioned before in a previous video, I will be bringing you the negative rebirth. So you can see me go through the whole negative rebirth and get the gem set on my character there, a new character that I just started. Let's see, fight the night. Yes, we'll fight the night. But we're not allowed to parry except for monstrosity, so we've got to restart that battle. Not sure why there's a knight Templar in the future. Or maybe the Catholic Church. Something. They still have a following. I don't know. Isn't yeah, whatever. I don't know. It's weird that there's a Knight Templar, and this is you know, thousands of years in the future, or more from our current timeline. But I'm probably thinking a little too hard about that. Windy tree where we will meet the Gargat. We gotta wake him up, so we need to grab all the treasure bag that we can see and disturb his slumber. Some more here, there we go. He's one of the cooler looking monstrosity things. I guess he's not really a monstrosity, I don't know. Kind of. He's a weird looking, he's like a, he's like a griffin, I guess, something. He has a beak, no wings. He's a monster bird, something. He must have been our pet, I don't know. He's guarding our armor for us, so I'm gonna assume this was our pet. That we trained to kill anyone, including ourselves. Because we think he recognize his master. But, you know, it has been maybe thousands of years since I've been here. So who knows? But, yeah. 
was really looking at all his spiky on his back. Okay, about a quarter of a time left to go, and then this playthrough will be done. It's all for sporadic commentary. Talking for 16 minutes is tiring, and it's like 1 o'clock in the morning, and I'm recording this, or I'm editing this, so that's my excuse. Maybe not a good one, but that's what I'm going with. So there's one, I missed the slash, and I couldn't block in time to attack, or to block the first attack, but that's alright. One more hit, one more block is done. So I'm out. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and comment below. And until next time, this is Tywin. Peace.